Hello there and welcome to Feng Shui Stories. Today I want to share with you a story of my own life that I'm going to tell you to illustrate how abusers can use bad feng shui to create an environment where they can be free to abuse without external interference. In a previous video, I had talked about how my parents built a house that was a good sized house, but in a neighborhood full of mansions and how I used to feel embarrassed about that. And how I realized my embarrassment was not about the size of the house or about not having as much money as the other people in the neighborhood, but it was about some of the strange things my father did, um, like um, putting uh, burnt motor oil on the doors instead of varnish. And so go watch that video and go to my profile and look for that video and watch it if you'd like to learn more about that. But if you're curious, and so today I want to talk about um, one other thing that he did, right? So when they designed the house, the house was designed in a style that kind of showed the construction materials with a lot of modification. It's an architectural style. So the house was supposed to show concrete and brick, right? And so in the design, there was a part of the front of the house that was all done in a very special, expensive, um, really high quality brick. And I was actually proud of my father that he actually went and bought and paid for that expensive brick and, uh, and had that put on a half of the front of the house where it was supposed to go. And uh, the facade, you know, it actually looks subdued and elegant and, uh, what needed to be done when the house was finished building, they just needed to clean the brick and then put a special kind of varnish on there. But my father decided that the varnish was uh, too expensive. And instead, he didn't tell anybody. He didn't consult anybody else in the family. He went to a paint store and he had them mix for him what he thought was brick color. So he just went to the store and had them add different colors to a gallon of white paint until he was like, yeah, that looks like a brick color. And, or, or that's what he said, right? But he came home with a paint that was plain orange, like really bright orange. And he used that paint to paint over the beautiful brick that was there. And so we ended up with a house that was an embarrassment because it was concrete plus this really strong, bright orange color that was completely out of place in the neighborhood. And you know, today there's some neighborhoods where it's like uh, all the neighbors are painting their houses in really bright colors, especially the, when they're trying to restore neighbors with Victorian houses, you know, there's a lot of bright colors, but that was not the case here. You know, nobody else in the whole neighborhood had a house with bright colors. So it made the house um, show up like a sore thumb, you know, it was completely out of place and uh, it was really embarrassing. So whereas when my father had made me take a rag and put motor oil on the doors, which made the door stink, right? And so I was embarrassed to invite people over to the house. But after he did this thing and he painted this uh, brick on uh, with bright, bright orange color, I became even embarrassed to have somebody drop me off. And so sometimes I would ask people to just drop me off blocks away from the house. Sometimes I would refuse rides because I was embarrassed. And again, the embarrassment was not um, because of lack of money, the embarrassment was not uh, because of the color per se, but because what it meant. Um, because there was so much abuse going on in this household, you know, and uh, I think my father had an instinct for bad feng shui. And so he knew that by putting that burnt motor oil on the doors instead of varnish, we would be embarrassed to invite people over. And it's like he knew that we were, would be less likely to even ask for rice to be dropped off at the house because the facade was so shocking and it was so tacky and such poor taste. And he used bath feng shui to try and keep us isolated because he was an abusive person. And uh, the last thing an abusive person wants, especially when they're abusing children, 
they don't want to become really close friends with, with a bunch of people that could want to intervene. And so that is a, one thing that abusers will do is they will try and create bad feng shui in a home to keep the people they want to abuse isolated. Now, on the other hand, um, if, um, if a person knows about good feng shui, they can make simple changes at home to increase the good energy of the place. And I have had, I have known people that I actually use good positive energy, like the kind of energy you create with good feng shui to get out of abusive situations. And so this, um, you know, the, the neighborhood where my parents built their house was a, a very expensive neighborhood full of mansions. And uh, because it was an expensive neighborhood, there were no buses that went to the neighborhood. So the closest bus stop uh, to the neighborhood was miles away and it was, the neighborhood was up on a hill. And so sometimes I would refuse these uh, rides and instead I would take a bus and the bus stop was about 20, 30 minutes away from the house of my parents, right? And so the, the sense of embarrassment, embarrassment was such, but no, not so much the tackiness, but just the idea that my father just couldn't have nice things that whenever he started out, you know, like for example, choosing the really nice brick and having it installed, he had to ruin it somehow. So I want for you to share with me if you have similar stories, if, uh, if you ever lived with a person that did something so outrageous inside of the home or outside of the home that it made you embarrassed to have people over it and how that affected you. And what do you think you could, you could do? Let's talk about facades, right? What could you do today to improve the front of your home so that it makes you feel proud? Tell me about that. And of course, remember to go to my profile and click on that link to see all the resources that we offer, including free classes on Feng Shui. See you next time.